A sunny Sunday morning. Almost everyone starts it with orange juice. Out in the country or in big cities, for breakfast, lunch or between meals, orange juice. Supermarkets carry hundreds of litres and that requires a lot of logistics organisation. Castle Groeneveld in Barn is the venue for a meeting of the platform for agro-logistics. This platform develops and creates efficient and sustainable logistics concepts for agricultural and food products through clustering, connecting and directing. Today a presentation will be held for a pilot project in the juice chain by a Brazilian. When you think about Brazil, the first things to come to mind are Carnival, Pele or World Cup football. However, this is about orange juice. Brazil is the world's leading exporter of orange juice. After Romario and Ronaldo, Sergio Elero is the next Brazilian to test the thin ice of the Netherlands. Yeah, Sergio Elero uh, from Brazil and now I'm running my small consulting company here in the Netherlands regarding logistics. And I decided to study the value chain of the orange juice, which is a huge commodity exported from Brazil to Europe. The aim is to enhance sustainability of the juice chain. This is both better for the environment and financially more lucrative, as Sergio has already calculated. Weren't the market parties able to do this by themselves? To collaborate and experiment to generate higher returns. Why does he need the platform to help him on his quest? Those are the people which brings innovation for, for the country. And Netherlands is very advanced in this part regarding green issues. So it's a very good, uh, let's say, uh, advertisement for the companies. In Germany, this is happening. So if, if the, the food is not green, the, maybe in the future, consumer will, will not buy anymore. But if you go just to a company, the company doesn't think about CO2, about congestion. They just uh, look about themselves. Am I going to have some benefits with this or not? If not, I'm not going to do it. After 800 meters, take the exit. Sergio studied logistics at the Erasmus University of Rotterdam and wrote his thesis on the transport of orange juice from his native country, investigating the possibility of replacing tanker trucks with tank containers for transport across Europe. Tank containers can be loaded onto lorries, inland barges and trains. This multi-purpose and flexible solution is a revolutionary idea that could bring about changes to the current approach. The transport chain of the orange juice is from, from Brazil to Europe. Uh, well, it is the purchase from Port of Santos, which is in the state of Sao Paulo. Ships carrying as much as 35,000 tons of juice travel to Europe in 16 days, arriving in Rotterdam. Every week, several of these travel down the new waterway to moor near the center of Rotterdam at Continental Juice in the Eiselhaven Harbor, where the juice is pumped into huge tank depots. And then they send the tanker trucks to receive this juice and then to, to deliver around Europe for, for Germany, for France, for even for Portugal, they go by truck. In, a, in average, uh, we have more, more or less 400 trucks per day leaving the uh, port of Rotterdam. It's already so congested around Europe's biggest harbour that any action to alleviate this should be more than welcome. And I was looking around mm. and uh, just the big bulk ships come from Brazil and just trucks going out. And then I thought, well, I have seen so many barges uh, along the river Rain in Germany and everywhere. Why don't uh, your clients use barges? Good idea. After all, there has always been plenty of water here. The Batavians lived here on the marshland. Roman relics are often found along the Rhine. They came here by boat. This boat. The Germanic people built entire cities, such as Utrecht, along the water. Theodore III, who conquered Holland in the 11th century, reclaimed the marsh and built waterways along which Amsterdam and Rotterdam would be built. However, at the start of the previous century, it became quicker and easier to transport goods by lorry or tanker trucks. I think it's a historical fact. And uh, it's difficult to change if everything is going well, no? 
But then came, came a lot of pressure, uh, cost pressure, global warming pressure. So, now the time is right to actually start transporting the juice by container on inland barges. To do so, we had to approach a lot of different parties in order to convince them to join in. First of all, I did a lot of studies. I approached the, the, the fruit processor, I approached the barge companies, I approached the port of Rotterdam, and then I approached NEA. They, they do this type of project, but they do not implement. And then I said, well, I, I'm going to implement. I don't need them to do it because I have done it and I just need help to implement it. They had a contact within the Ministry of Economics and Agriculture and uh, from here to connect. And then I, I, I succeed in receiving together with NEA the budget to do the pilot. And then I approached the, the, the leasing tank company, they said okay, I mean as well. Then I, I thought well now it's time to go to the clients to the juice packers. So the first one was the German, uh, uh, the, the Ex Granini, the German company, and the second one was GFA in France because of the, the products and the distance. So you need to, 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 to understand the product in order to transport it well. When we talk about fruit juice in terms of transport, we mean two different products. Concentrated fruit juice, which is sold diluted in huge quantities at supermarkets, and freshly squeezed juice, which is more susceptible to damage. So the, you need to prove to the person that you can change the model without change your, your product. But they, of course, if you are um, the person of the, the logistics uh, within a company like this, you are always concerned about you know, if I damage the juice, then it's my problem. But if comes a guy like me from uh, neutral, which uh, takes the responsibility to do it, and put the companies together and ever convince all of them that this is not going to be damaged. So this, this helps this person to accept the idea and to do at least a pilot. And then you do the pilot, then you, 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 you finish with the, the you, you create this mental shift. So one has to start examining the possibilities and to prove how well this method works in theory. Then one needs to convince market parties to test the approach and if they round off the test phase successfully, practice shows that we can make the change. So I decided to do this pilot project uh, for two types of uh, juice, uh, the concentrated and the fresh juice, and for two destinations, for fr France, which is a little bit farther, and to Germany, in order to try to, to, to study the, the, the volumes. Uh, I could uh, transport more volumes to Germany, and uh, what I would like to, to test uh, going to France was the distance. Uh, to prove that the distance uh, and, and, and time and, and, uh, and the fact that we can transport orange juice uh, using tank containers will not damage the, the, the juice. The aim is to ship tank containers with concentrated juice by inland barge to Bonn, from where they will have to travel only 30 kilometers by lorry to the Eckes Granini Orangensoft factory. Quality-wise, it was a success. Concentrated, we load the tank container uh, at uh, minus six degrees, and after three days of transporting no normal tank containers, we delivered the juice at 3.1, and the temperature should be less than four. The ship with fresh juice aboard will travel to Strasbourg, the container will then travel another 80 kilometers by road to Jus de Fri d'Alsace. Again, all the tests went well. So we started with the, the reefer tank container, just for precaution. Then the second trial, we loaded the tank container at uh, 0.6 degrees and we deliver it at uh, 3.1. The orange juice needs to be transported or stored, stored below 4 degrees Celsius because above this temperature uh, some reactions will start to occur which will damage the, the juice. Uh, in, in, enzymatic reactions will occur and also microbiological reactions will start to, the, the microbes will start to grow in this temperature. The emphasis is on quality, the primary concern of fruit juice packages. To guarantee this, the tanks are thoroughly rinsed with boiling water before loading. Sergio was present at every step in the process, taking pictures and making notes. Although nothing was left to chance, not everything went as he wanted. Well, we have the, some issues. Uh, regarding the barge trans transport, we don't have any problem. Uh, regarding the, the use, the, deploy, the deployment of uh, uh, 
uh, tank containers, we, we don't have any problem. Regarding uh, the quality of the juice, we don't have any problem. But we do have problems uh, regarding handling uh, the tank container in the port of Rotterdam. The, the tank container is in, ba in Valhaven. Then from Valhaven, a truck pick it up and go until the Europort. It's about uh, 23 kilometers from, 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 from Valhaven. We clean the tank container in Europort. Then from Europort, they come back to Eiselhaven, which is near Telfshaven, with more 30 kilometers to fill it. And then come to Valhaven, seven kilometers. And this brought a lot of costs for the pre hullage The idea was to everything needs to go pretty well, so we put the best companies to do it. <laughs> and then we, pay, we paid a lot for it. Eh? And when we lose the competitiveness against the tanker trucks. Costs will have to be reduced, but we can conclude that inland barges are certainly well suited to the transport of fruit juice. Uh, JFA is so excited about the pilot that they decided to do this end hullage by themselves. A local hero, which is a, a truck company nearby, is his neighbor. <laughs> he cut our costs for half. Everybody learns when we do a pilot, and that's uh, the nice thing to do. The clients are happy, the juice packers are happy. happy. Continental juice uh, is happy as well. We, we succeed, we did not damage any juice. We don't have any, any concerns or any problems with the barge companies. We make the, the tank operators happy because they can deploy more tank containers. We can reduce the CO2 footprint of the companies. We, we can uh, reduce the road congestions, re reduce the CO2 issues, so it's a success. If this is a success with orange juice, it must be possible to do this with other juices and fresh foodstuffs as well, such as olive oil or soy oil, in a regular service, in combination with rail transport, to destinations along other rivers. The possibilities are endless.